G'day, you're watching the channel Adelaide Toy Collector. My name is Chris, thanks for tuning in. If you like watching videos of unboxings and reviews, then you've come to the right channel. I try to bring you a brand new video each and every week. Today, I'm going to be unboxing an awesome pop culture delivery. Don't forget though, if you want to continue watching my videos and you want to be a part of this awesome 750 subscriber giveaway, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So yes, today we are opening up a delivery from Pop Culture. First of all, I'm going to be showing you real quick the Ceremony Luke Skywalker Pop. This one was actually an exclusive back uh, in 2016. I think it was one of the um, Star Wars Celebrations ones, I think. Um, it doesn't have a sticker, um, but that's okay. I got it for really cheap from Pop, Pop, Pop Culture, so I had to add that one to the collection. But the main ones that we are opening up now, firstly, is the awesome... Now, these are all Funko Shop exclusives, but here in Australia, the next pops that I'm showing you are all fun, sorry, Pop Culture exclusives. So. First of all, in from the pop myth line is Cyclops. This pop is really heavy compared to most pops that I've actually seen. Um, it's really awesome. I think this would have been better if it was like a six inch pop. I think that might have probably looked a little bit better. I'm gonna take this one out of the box just to show you how it looks. All right, so I don't really think I've actually got any other of the myths line I don't really remember to be honest but it is an awesome pop I had to definitely definitely add this one to the collection all right so this is the awesome Cyclops pop final I like the club that you've got here the one eye looks really awesome the horns on the top of the head are great. It's got some fantastic detail and it is quite heavy. Um, so that is the Cyclops uh, Pop Culture Exclusive. So that's the first one of the exclusives that I'm showing you. The next one, which is really awesome, looks better in person, is the Fantastic, fantastic Plastic Winner. And it is the Trader Grimm Pop, which now, my understanding is part of the Fantastic Plastic, which is the range that Funko have released themselves, if it's the um, a winner, this has actually been designed by a one of us, a Funko fanatic person. So the, I think they ran a competition um, where the best design would go in and if you basically had a really awesome design, um, it would be voted on and it would become a Funko Pop. So I'm going to take this one out of the box and show you uh, just how awesome this pop vinyl looks. All right, and that there is the awesome Trader Groom with his little, he's got a little purple shrunken head. Looks like a sh purple shrunken head. And he's got a little drink there, just off to the side, little drinks there. That looks really awesome. I like the staples in the head. His ear stapled on, which is really awesome. He's got a blue and a green foot. Um, there is a little bit of information on the back. Uh, Chris Ramo from Hazlitt, New Jersey. Uh, Alpha, sorry. Aloha from the spooky, kooky island of Spooky Key comes Trader Grimm. Are you a skeleton in need of a surfboard or a tourist in need of tiny zombified head or a haunted tiki mug overflowing with a tropical cocktail? and swing by Trader Grimm's Tiki Bar and Trading Post for all your island needs. Now, Trader Grimm was inspired by my love for spooky things, tiki culture, and of course, the entire fantastic plastic roster. I wanted to create a fun and lovable character that I could see my twin sons, Evan and Oliver, carrying around as we go hunting for tiki mugs on the weekends. Oh, so Chris Ramo was obviously the person who designed this Funko Pop. And that is the winner there, that is Trader Grimm. And the other one that's in this collection, um, the other winner was the bat. I can't think what the bat's called. I'm sure I had it here. Um, but it was the, it was a bat. 
that was the other winner from last year or the year before. Alright, so that's that one. Alright, so you saw at the beginning of the video, you would have saw Fred Flintstone yelling out, Wilma! As a person who is in their 40s and I grew up watching the Flintstones, I was very excited to add the following two pops. This was an awesome bundle. So, firstly, we will open this one. It is Betty Rubble, and of course the other one, Wilma Flintstone. So these are the Flintstones exclusive, sorry, the Flintstones pop culture exclusives. So obviously they're from the Flintstones range, and they're really awesome pops. Um, had to, had to, had to add them. They are fantastic. As someone who grew up watching the Flintstones, these are brilliant. I will be taking them out of the box to show you a little bit of a closer look at just how amazing these are. You would have seen ECCC was a couple of weeks ago and I showed you a video of um, the Great Bazoo Glow in the Dark, which is an ECCC exclusive. Um, that's part of the Flintstones range. And whoops, these ones are the next. Oh. All right, so here comes Betty Rubble. Just to grab the box there. All right. And the great thing is, this one comes with a little stand. So let's put Betty on the stand. Oh God, I nearly knocked her head off. <laughs> Crikey. Uh, I really have a hard time putting these on the stands. I really do. I can never get them quite right. Um, oh look, I'll worry about that another time. Anyway, here's Betty, who nearly lost her head because of me, um, but that is the Betty Rubble Pop. She is looking all kinds of, oh, hello, Barney, um, you know, um, yeah, okay. That's a really bad impression of Betty Rubble, really bad. Okay, next up, we're going to have a look at the Wilma Pop. Alrighty, here we go. This one also comes with a stand, but we're not going to attempt fate twice. We might end up nearly knocking off Wilma's head this time. We don't want to do that. Alrighty. Oh. Come on, out here. Out of the box. Sorry, technical difficulty. Alright, here we go. Here is Wilma. And she's got the iconic little white dress, a little necklace there. The beautiful swirly hair that she got, got going on. Her little pink lipstick is looking good. Um, oh, I wonder if I can try and get this one on the disc better than... Oh, that one's a lot. Oh, no. Oh, nearly got it in the hole. That sounded dirtier than it should have been. Um, yeah, I'm not really good with these disc things, but that's... Um, that's Wilma. Alright, so that is the video. That's Five pops from pop culture, four of them pop culture exclusives. They were awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Get into my competition. Win yourself five Funko Pops and also a couple of little secret surprise items that I've put in there. Um, whoever wins uh, out of the 750 subscribers, I will be shipping at Australia only, only because of the COVID-19. Shipping overseas is virtually impossible at the moment, so we're sticking to Australia only, but I promise I'll do a big giveaway um, at some point in the future, which will be for international. Um, but yeah, keep an eye on the channel this week. I've got some more deliveries coming up. WonderCon, where I'll open up the Boba Fett and also the Disco Skeletor soda cans. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping I can get a chase. Haven't had a single chase from the can series yet. Um, I have an order from uh, Quantum Collectibles here in Australia. I ended up picking up some amazing Game of Thrones pops and a Star Wars pop that I never, ever thought I'd actually be able to get a hold of here in Australia and I've got one on the way. So yeah, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on those videos. Keep an eye on the channel and next Monday I'm going to be doing another awesome From the Vault video. I'm fairly certain if I can find the pop that I want to do it on, it's going to be an epic Marvel pop that I have in my collection. Maybe not so epic to some people, but to me, it, it, it really is a great pop and, and one of the best Marvel design pops I think I've actually ever seen. So anyway, thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, um, leave a comment, leave a review of my channel. 
look, it's late, I'm tired, and you know, I'm just gonna go to bed and now I'm just rambling. But thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Have a good night.